in a globe, chalk for your hair, and a school supply holder full of makeup? Learn new ways to sneak makeup into class in our new video! Miss Smith has to go to a teacher meeting right in the middle of class. The PE teacher himself came to get her. She needs to beautify herself. Miss Smith has a mirror on an easel. She has to be pretty in every class. Miss Smith hides eyeliner in a pointer. Finally, it comes in handy. Coat a sheet of A4 paper with glue. Wrap a thin cone. Glue in a piece of a wooden skewer and cut off the bottom to be even. Pour in hot glue. Make a plug. Cut the pointer in the middle and hot glue eyeliner into it. Put the cap and the pencil into the two halves. Paint the pointer gold. Miss Smith is defining her mole with the eyeliner. Hello, our school's version of Marilyn Monroe. You're so beautiful. A globe can make your face look fresh. Miss Smith hides face powder in the center of the earth. Take a globe off its stand. Cut it in half. Trace a semi-sphere on extruded polystyrene foam. Trace a powder compact in the center. Cut it out. File the edges with sandpaper. Coat the ring with silver acrylic paint. Put it into the globe. Paint the powder compact black. Stick it into the ring. Attach printed stickers. Put the globe back into the stand. Miss Smith invented a new makeup product by combining a globe and face powder. It's a globe powder. It evens out your skin tone from the center of the earth. Outstanding beauty. Put the powder back. Here comes the PE teacher. Miss Smith is ready to meet a school beaumond. The teacher checks if the girls are all right before she leaves. Don't worry, Miss Smith. We'll behave. Rosie loves learning so much that she has even brought along her own blackboard. But it has a secret. A makeup palette is hidden in it. Paint the inside of a jewelry box black. Glue in eyeshadow, lipsticks, and blushes. Pour three teaspoons of matte acrylic polish into three teaspoons of dry cement. Add two ounces of water and three teaspoons of black acrylic paint. Thoroughly stir it to get an even consistency. Cover the edges of the box with masking tape. Coat the lid with two layers of the mixture using a wet brush. When dry, remove the tape. Put the box onto an easel. Rosie opens the blackboard box. Let's start a beauty class. The topic is how to do a stylish makeup look without leaving your desk. Redhead got ready for class too. A whole makeup set fit into her school supplies organizer. Choose whatever makeup you like. Take a school supply stand. Cut out decorative cardboard and glue it into the cells of the stand as partitions. Clean it with rubbing alcohol and put in broken eyeshadow. Add a few drops of rubbing alcohol and compact it. Pour liquid lipstick into another cell. Squeeze out foundation into one more division and compact face powder. Attach printed stickers with indications. Put in a makeup sponge. Add mascara, makeup brushes, and regular school supplies. Put beauty blotters into a paper section. The girls quickly use their secret makeup. This organizer has everything for a complete makeup look. We can go to a party right after class. Redhead decides to substitute for Miss Smith while the teacher is away. Let's adjust the imaginary glasses. Draw a mole. And of course, make an educational ponytail. The resemblance is striking. Now, let's start the class. 
The topic is how to sneak makeup into school. The most important life hack is a beauty backpack. Hot glue elastic ribbon on the inside of a backpack. Make loops for brushes and makeup. Redhead Smith unzips her backpack. And there is a whole beauty arsenal in it. The backpack orders her to do makeup. She takes a lip liner out of the backpack and defines her lips. How useful! And the best part is that you can hide all your school supplies and makeup in it, even the glow powder. Everything can fit into this roomy makeup backpack. Rosie also has a hidden notebook for beauty secrets. It has blotting paper instead of regular pages. Blue printed notebook covers to cardboard. Cut them out. Prick a stack of beauty blotters with a hole puncher. Make the same holes in the cover. Fasten the notebook with a binder clip and join it with jump rings. Apply clear nail polish to the cover and sprinkle with mica flakes. Shake off the excess. Attach a keychain ring with a tassel. Redhead Smith asks to take a closer look at the notebook. Easy! Rosie takes out one beauty blotter and fixes her makeup. Redhead Smith uses the notebook as intended to. Hilarious! Poor Rosie is rolling on the floor laughing. Rosie is hiding a special lip balm. This is an EOS globe and Redhead Smith will definitely like it. Take balm out of an EOS container. Clean the container and take it apart. Attach the grid to the cap. Microwave the lip balm and add blue makeup pigment. Pour the blue EOS back into the container. Close it and let it harden. Scrape out the North Pole and continents on the surface. Fill them with melted colored lip balm and let it harden. Draw a grid on the globe with black eyeliner, parallels, and meridians. Paint the North Pole white. Redhead got into character. Rosie brings her a gift. The EOS globe is so cute and space saving. You have the whole world at your lips. Redhead Smith applies some continents to her lips. She's so charming. Redhead Smith is fully in character. She presents the best chalk in the world. This is more than just chalk. It colors your hair. Miss Smith comes in unexpectedly. She's intrigued. Go ahead, Redhead, continue. Tell us about these chalks. And meanwhile, Miss Smith will sit at the desk. Mix three spoons of baby powder with two spoons of clay. Add a little water. Put in food coloring. Stir it to get a thick, creamy consistency. Place the mass into rectangular molds and let it dry for 24 hours. Make chalks of different colors. Even out the shape with a knife. Put the chalks into a box. The students get chalks for practicing. Rosie asks Miss Smith to be a guinea pig. The things you do for teaching. Miss Smith sacrifices her strand of hair. Rosie colors the hair with chalk. The shade is bright and the result is perfect. Miss Smith is satisfied. Redhead Smith has one more invention. It's a magnetic board of beauty and color. Because instead of magnets, Redhead uses eyeshadow. Put eyeshadow of different colors into empty glitter pots. Add a few drops of rubbing alcohol and compact it with a Q-tip. Coat the pots with acrylic paints of corresponding colors. Hot glue magnets to the bottoms. Tie a loop to the board. A great idea! Eyeshadow magnets! It's a creative solution for a beauty school! But a problem arises! 
Where to get brushes for applying the makeup? Redhead needs some help from the audience. Thank goodness Rosie has a whole tube of makeup brushes. Answering from your desk is easy. Let's see you go to the blackboard with your tube. Cut a plastic tube container with a heated knife. Leave a link. Hot glue a zipper to the cut. Trace the lid on a piece of styrofoam. Cut it out. Hot glue the circle into the tube. Paint it red. Put cotton pads into one partition. Coat makeup brushes with red acrylic paint and put them into the other section of the case. The girls take a test on school makeup. Redhead does Rosie's eyes. But it's not enough. Miss Smith asks to intensify the effect. These bright eyes are totally her style. What a nightmare! Rosie can't go out looking like this. It's great that this holder has cotton pads to wipe excess makeup. Don't rush, girls. The test has just started. Did you like our school makeup ideas? Then write in the comments how you would sneak makeup into class. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to our channel and click the bell so that you don't miss new back-to-school tricks on Troom Troom.